while we are in New York City, India is in our heart. The wave of COVID in India is unimaginable. The devastation in communities and in families is far-reaching throughout the country. Really what we're seeing and hearing on the ground is that there's a dire need for oxygen. Unfortunately, the healthcare system and the, the hospital system is not equipped to deal with this volume of need. My parents immigrated to America in 1969, and so I was born and raised in America, but always with a very close personal, familial, cultural and heritage connection to India. My mother is constantly staying in touch with our family that's there, speaking to them almost on a daily basis. And so it's really nerve wracking for all of us. It is in your core, the pit of your stomach, just knowing what's happening on the ground. When the crisis really took hold, we realized we had to do something and, and act quickly. The first thing we did is announce on our social media, which we've amassed a, a large following on social media, to dr start to draw attention and to say like, okay, we're not here just to talk about the food in the restaurant. We're, we're here to talk about what's in our heart and what's in our heart is there's a crisis happening in India right now. I'm sitting in London and hearing from my friends and family in India about how hospitals are at capacity. There are no rooms in ICUs, ambulances are too busy, um, oxygen supply is less. Then we said, okay, well, what are we gonna do? How are we actually gonna raise funds? Because there's actually some really great channels that you can donate through that are verified, that will help from a global standpoint to help get oxygen into the country. The thing that we could do that made the most sense for us is to identify a dish, and we chose a dish very specifically, identify a dish where proceeds from that dish will go towards supporting a campaign that is essentially called Together for India. And we haven't put an end date to it. We're just gonna wait to see what happens. The dish that we chose is a very personal dish to a lot of us connected to, um, to Sona, and it's a dish that is called Floyd's Goin' Fish Curry. And it's named for the late, great chef Floyd Cardoz, who just 14 months ago passed from this very tragic disease that has taken the world to its knees. As a chef and as a father, I always want you to follow your passion, whatever you do. And so Floyd Cardoz was really one of the first person that we knew to see pass away from this disease. And it stopped all of us in our tracks because it just became so real. Sometimes the news can feel very far away. And in this case, what we are seeing is thousands of people sadly dying every single day. Thousands of people dying every day in India from COVID. And this has to be all of our stories in some ways. And we are, you know, when I say we, we as Indians and in the diaspora, that, that we are all doing everything we can and we ask for the support to really help us to raise awareness and ultimately raise funds.